or call the 1-800 number below to get my Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as $39.99, the lowest price in history. If you do it right now, I'm also going to include a free gift with your purchase. Thank you and God bless. How a scientist who helped develop the Moderna vaccine changed the game. She really laid down the backbone for the COVID-19 vaccine. I still cannot believe we as a team did that. On CBS Mornings tomorrow. CBS 2 celebrates Women's History Month. from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is CBS 2 News This Morning at 5. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 15th. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 5 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Suzanne Marquez. Happy Tuesday. I'm DeMarco Morgan. There's a lot going on in your world today. Here's a look at your SoCal Eye Opener. I want to start with this story, devastating flames overnight in Highland Park. We are live at the scene where one person was killed. And a deadly wrong way crash shuts down the freeway. New details as lanes reopen this morning in the IE. But a lot of it, a lot of it is due to the Ukrainian resistance. Also this morning, fighting for Ukraine, the efforts to stop Russian forces as ceasefire talks continue today. As most of them are in areas like Kiev and uh, Odessa that you just can't get into. Escaping from the war zone, the local doctor helping to bring disabled orphans from Ukraine here to Southern California. But we begin with breaking news this morning. A raging fire at a home in Highland Park has killed at least one person. Kara Finstrom is live at the scene with the latest on this breaking story. Kara, good morning to you. Good morning, DeMarco. Sadly, firefighters found one person dead inside this home, which, as you can see, was completely destroyed by this fire. Part of the roof in the front yard and really just a charred shell left of the home. Authorities have not released the person's name, any information about them, but witnesses say a number of teens or young adults were trying to get into this house when it first started burning because they knew someone lived here alone. Let's go to the huge flames, some video of them that ultimately shot up from this home. Firefighters say this was so intense they had to fight it defensively, working to protect the three homes on all sides. LA City fire crews who rushed out here shortly before midnight were able to do that. They were able to protect those homes. They got the fire out within about 40 minutes. Now at this point, they have not commented about a possible cause. The coroner just left here within the last hour. Fire investigators expected to be back later this morning looking for some answers and we also had video earlier this morning of the aftermath here what appeared to be loved ones of the person who died were here comforting one another they did not speak with our crews we did hear from a man who happened to be driving by with a friend he spotted the flames and he rushed to try and help and right as we came over the hill we saw fire coming in through like the front right window only uh, and then we just immediately tried to see if there was anyone inside. There was, a, there was a radio going on at the time, so it sounded like someone was there, and I managed to like get the front door open. Uh, but there was, it went up really fast. It just went up so fast. And DeMarco, Suzanne, he says he also went around to the back of the house trying to get in that way, but this fire just spread too quickly. There was nothing anyone could do. So unfortunate, Cara. Thank you very much for that report. It's been a nice but cooler week, Olga, so far. Yeah, and we are going to be warming things up. Good morning, DeMarco, Suzanne, everybody at home. Happy Tuesday to you. Here's a look at temperatures outside at the moment. So kind of a cool start to the day, but uh, wait till you see the numbers as we head into the afternoon hours. Right now we're seeing plenty of 50s and uh, 40s. We have 30s in Lancaster, 20s up in the mountains in Big Bear. By this afternoon, we're looking at mid 70s for the LA area. And as we head into the evening hours, uh, temperatures dropping down down into the 60s once again if you are heading out but numbers overall yeah we're seeing a jump in the temperatures so we'll talk about what to expect for the week ahead i'll let you know how long numbers in the 80s are going to stick around in just a few minutes to marco and suzanne thanks olga let's go to your time saver traffic this morning lanes have just reopened on the 215 freeway in riverside after a terrible crash it was a wrong way crash killing two people inside 
and it was a magic.